Alright, so I'm back. So in this part I'll be showing you how I did the dirt around these areas and you know overall small small dirt and spots here 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 and everywhere all, all over the place uh, so I'll just try to show you as little as I can while trying to be fast so to get you know to get to let you get the whole concept of it and yeah so let's start with things around this here you know like this dirt here so first of all I'll just disable that stuff So now let's hand paint our shit in. Uh, Alright. Let's just say dirt, dirt, add a black mask, and then add a fill there. And then I'll choose uh, for this stuff, for dirt. I've, I've seen that dirt 3 works really well for me. So I'll just search for dirt 3 and yeah. Choose this one. Oh, well, wait, this layer is disabled. So I'll move that away from there. Yeah. So as you can see, we got our dirt stuff here, but it's too large. I'll modify things. I'll adjust things accordingly. For first of all, I'll use triplanar projection because you know, uh, along the seams, the it's kind of like offset a bit the gr the grunge which I don't want I want them to be seamless so I choose triplanar well that didn't work out so well uh, let's see Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> but I, mean, I, I was actually trying, uh, you know, messing things that are up this fill there instead of the mask. No wonder it wasn't working. So yeah, I'll, I'll choose try planar position. Now you can see it's kind of seamless. It's, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, it gets the work done. So I'll try to, you know, make things look like that and increase the contrast. Uh, for, oh wait, first of all I'll increase the scale of it let's say do increase the that nice parameters disorder I want a lot of chaos in there um, I need them to be more closer around here so let me see what I can do about that first of all let me increase the contrast a bit it's too low right now alright so right now things are all over the place uh, now for I'll try to hand paint them in here this this area so I'll choose a paint layer and then I'll drag this one down and then set these as multiply so now if I paint here you can see the dirt shows up like this easy right so yeah I'll you know the circle the circular uh, alpha is too you know simple I'll try I'll choose another brush for it let's say something like dirt here yeah I just choose this so I'll try to hand paint them in Try to yeah. It's just trying to make things 
look closer to your reference as much as you can while trying to be fast. You don't have to be super duper accurate. Just get you know do it enough so that it gets the job done. Something like this works for me, I guess. Oh, by the way, you can switch the color by like by pressing X. You can invert the colors. So if I'm choosing now, uh, if I paint now, you're gonna subtract. But if I press X and then choose the white color and then paint, I'm gonna get dirt. More, I'm more like I'm, I'm gonna get addition instead of subtraction. Hey, just get you know. Try to be as oh sorry random as you can. Don't get don't just throw stuff in there. Just try to make things look closer to your reference. All right, I think this works for me. Then I'll try to increase the contrast again, I guess. Yeah, and then I'll change the color to something like a bit dirt-like, like yellow, closer to yellow or dark brown. Nope, 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 do, 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 saturated. Mm. Something like this works for me. You see, like that? Yeah. Uh, I think f I'll just try to add another layer by duplicating this layer and then I'll try to randomize the mask for that and then I'll try to you know, hand paint shit out again to get a bit of slight randomness here and there sort of like that Know, things like that yeah you get the concept of it I think hopefully so yeah I'll end this part here again and then move on to the next